have TRFX. Coming at you 25 May here. Day after a long weekend. Um, risk on. What can we say? We're through the 200 day in, uh, in E mini futures, which is why we are up so early this morning. Uh, taking care of some business here, trimming some positions, taking our stops in the trend book, and also we cut our shorts um, in the tactical book. This thing looks like it wants to go higher, so we're not going to fight it for now. We're skeptical, but price obviously is our god, and here we are, 29.9850. We can be flexible today and see what happens. There could easily be a big ass failure up here, but there could also easily be um, a close at 30. 30. So let's just see. Um, and with this break of the 200 day, there will be plenty of opportunities to make money. So let's take a look around and see what's going on. First thing that strikes me is Euro Norway um, is too high. Um, crude's at 34.20 um, and equities are obviously through the roof uh, Euro Norway should get hit at the open here I would I would think um, probably do a little bit of a zipper right back down to that sort of 10.85 area we like fading this this move in Euro Norway up here between uh, 96 and the figure get short some Euro Norway. Secondly, um, let's look at these risk metrics and currencies. Here's our old pal uh, Kiwi Yen. We talked about this last week incessantly. We were like warning the world the sky is falling, the whatever whatever the metaphor chicken little is or whatever 6621 uh, was the big point we cruised a whopping four points through that um, I believe it was last Tuesday or the date was the 21st so whenever that was um, but this chart is still relevant so price is through I would say 24 25 was like the the, the reach high uh, prices through 24 could lead to higher prices and there's a gap to be filled up at 6690 very very uncomfortable um, for a lot of people this you're buying Kiwi uh, at the highs whilst China is having a fight with that region and you're buying dollar yen near the highs um, but as awkward as it is I think there's some money to be made on the long side Kiwi yen dollar yen same type of story it's a pretty chart this um, oftentimes the pretty charts uh, cause lots of trouble we like good working charts more than pretty charts. You grew up on a farm, you realize the pretty horses um, are the ones that are probably the least fun to ride. It's a metaphor that that travels well through a lot of mediums. Um, anyway, 10809. Very interesting. One, two, three, four highs. Uh, now you got this sort of long head and shoulders pattern. It was horribly weak the last time we traded up here. We literally traded 09 and right back down, bang, 107.30. But here we are again. You can see we're, we're, we're itching. We're itching to get this. Um, and this will probably go at the European Open. So watch out, top side, dollar yen. Let's call it 108.10. You can imagine the chart I'm going to next. Yes, Aussie Yen. This thing, uh, the chart's not as great, but um, again, there's some fresh air. There's going to be stops above uh, 7106. 
certainly we can you know you can easily take a look at 7150 but just to tidy this whole story up we're probably going to visit um, 72 the figure which you will all have you will all remember the end of February um, when we sold Kiwi Yen, Aussie Yen and it was the beginning of of uh, D-Day this will be a real tidy finish to this story is if we can kiss this a little kiss of death um, up there at 72 the figure so that's 114 points away there's probably going to be some money to be made um, long Aussie yen in the meantime CAD yen doesn't look as great we're going to sit and wait obviously um, we do have some interest in this dollar CAD 138.50 and if you think that all of this stuff is going to trade um, you just kind of have to believe that dollar CAD is going to going to also take a little trip and finally clear out what should be inevitably a tsunami of stops um, below 138.50 100 points away right now uh, and a lot of us uh, lost money last week short dollar CAD um, but looks like the signs are pointing in this direction we got crude at 34.17 we got ES at 29.99 right now um, risk on dollar CAD lower that said also our long dollar rand we are bailing on this um, we do we will aggressively look to get long dollar rand um, but in this risk on posture this looks like it's gonna have further to go and maybe 7720 um, sorry 1720 or 17 the figure it's gonna be a better chance for us to um, short the South African Rand I don't even know what the dollar max chart looks like, but I'm pretty sure you can all guess. Um, where is this guy? Bang. She's got a long, long way to go. Easily C22 the figure today. Um, or, sorry, 22 the figure this week. That's kind of the first support. A lot of clear air down there. Dollar Max also looks left hand side. I could get into Bitcoin, but I don't feel like it. 8,500, you want to buy. 7,500, you want to buy. Uh, this thing is going higher. It's weird today for gold. Why we're not lower? That's a good sign for bulls. Um, just the tarnishing of US fiat currency should get this thing plowed higher. Um, you want to fade any real extensive lower lows on this. Are we going to make a stop run down below 1680? Kind of looks like it. Um, but we have our eyes firmly planted on 1775. Um, when this whole risk move turns back risk off, which it inevitably will. Um, but I don't think it's going to do it today. There's uh, ES right now through 3000, 3001 now trading. Uh, I'm going to cut this short. I've got some things to do, as I'm sure you guys do. Um, looks like we're going to have a risk on day here, people. Good luck out there. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.